Coach, can you just start? Congratulations on the win. Can you just start with the uh, quick uh, summation of the, of the match? Well, obviously it was uh, a little bit of a roller coaster for us. It was a tough start for us. We um, were struggling with ball control. But once we calmed ourselves down, I think um, you know we were able to get the ball to, um, obviously, these two young ladies. Um, and we were able to control it well enough, um, play good defense. Pretty much, I, that's probably the best I've seen my team play all year. They really um, had a lot of heart, and it was uh, it was a fun match to be a part of. Obviously, a five setter can go either way. What puts you guys over the top? Ball control, being able to block them at um, at the right time. Um, a lot of this is just a game of momentum, so we were able to uh, have the momentum, momentum on our side a little bit longer than they were, um, and obviously. Um, control the ball a little bit better so ladies what do you guys think what the key was for tonight obviously we heard the coach say ball control what do you guys are out there playing what do you guys uh, think I think that the key was our team like really coming together and everyone playing as one team and not six people out there and just wanting the ball to stay off the ground like no matter what really <laughs> I agree. I think it was like the want and desire, especially at the end of the game. We just really wanted to win, and no matter like what mistakes we were making, the next ball we were just trying to limit those or just just keep moving on and not dwelling on the mistakes. Shippensburg came out, you know, on fire. They kind of jumped on you early the first uh, first set. What did you guys feel? What did the coach say um, after the first set was over? Um, coach was just like pretty much just shake it off and like we need to focus on our side. Like, yes, they came out strong, but we can only control what we're doing and just trying to, I don't know, like... Focus on our side. Yeah, focus on our <laughs> side, really. So, yeah. Um, we just were, we just stopped waiting for them to make the mistakes, and we were just trying to focus on our side, like we said. Uh, talk about your team's... The, the, the fire within, so to speak, about you know just being behind early and then rallying from a 2-1 set deficit and then being able to take over in the, in the fifth set. Um, just talk about your uh, ability to do that. Um, I think like the struggles we faced earlier in the game, we just tried to forget about and forget about the sets that we were already done with because we couldn't change them. And so whatever set or whatever specific point we were on, that's all we were focusing on. And we just really um, kept going back to like we've been to NCAA's twice and we've lost in the first round both times and we just didn't want to have that feeling again. So we just wanted to make sure that we put everything out on the court and just play volleyball. Uh, and Missy and Jimmy, uh, what did you tell your team when you guys were, were down and we were able to overcome stuff? Um, I said to them uh, that at any point in time, if they want to be a good team, they can be. And they just need to go out there and show. And they just got to want and believe that they can win. The biggest thing for me is, is um, Victoria hit on it, is you need to be able to move past your mistakes. And literally, within the next second, you need to be on to the next thing. You can't show it on your face. You can't Because as soon as you do that, it cycles into the next point and the next point. You can't affect the next point um, in a negative way without even touching the ball. So you got to be able to move on from our mistakes. And that was one thing that we focused on, and I think that's what, what the difference was. And there were numerous plays where they were just folly after another, over, over, over. Um, what was really the mentality as you guys were going about those plays? Um, you know that as much as you guys tried to hit it hard, they were able to hit it back. So what was really the, 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 the focus to keep playing and eventually get that point? Just stay in system. Um, we were fighting like heck to get that first ball up to the to squid so that we could deliver a ball that was in system so that we could take a nice swing at it and, and hold the blockers and maybe try to set up a one-on-one -on -one or get the ball into the middle and just have her do her job that she does so well. So. And uh, you opened up with uh, Megan Scrap Talk playing libero. Uh, what did you see the most out of her today? Well, she's injured, <laughs> and that's why she we had to take her out. So we were hoping that she could make it to the match, and it just wasn't... Uh, wasn't going to happen for her, so we're um, we're definitely beat up. We're three down right now. We have three of our uh, potential starters are sitting on the bench, and two of them have been for I would say 75 percent of the season. So um, that's a struggle with us to just try to stay healthy and, and keep it going. So and looking forward, you're potentially playing either Gannon or Fairmont State. What are your thoughts on either team? Well, we've played both. Um, obviously, we'd love another crack at Gannon, um, home to cross town rival. Um, Fairmont's a good team. They're both very strong teams. So. 
you know, we, we don't, it doesn't matter who we play, um, we're going to focus on our side of the court, um, we're going to focus on getting the ball into these two girls' hands, um, and just just um, enjoy the moment. I've been saying that to my team, enjoy the moment, be in the moment, and enjoy the experience. So.